Hi Twin Flames, welcome to this light beings, whatever's, <laughs> divine, let's call it that right, DMDFs. Welcome to this uh, community, my name's Sophia. So I tried to post the videos, the individual videos yesterday and I was just pulled to obviously the change of the contract with the divine contracts and stuff so uh, I apologise I didn't get them out yesterday. I have actually uploaded them, but I didn't feel to uh, post them, so that's why you just got the free videos about the changes what's going on in <clears throat> the collective at the moment with the divine. So with this, I asked what's going on with you guys today with the energy of the in and out and this confusion, even if obviously not every light worker has listened to my video, although they've had a knowing, there's a... There's a um, for those who are not sure, they're just getting on doing what they're doing, but there's no, that's the, that's the issue actually, there's no, this is what we are here for, we are here to tell people to actually have a purpose in life, and your purpose now is to, follow, well, it's supposed to be, you are on this planet to experience your passion. So this, the advice is to follow your passion now, if you're, because it's like what's going on and it's like confusion, the unknown, not knowing what to do, which is falling back onto what most do is follow the habit. You are here to be, our bodies are like a program, like a computer. The TV, the television programs you, TV programs programs you to do things that are against oneself that's factual that's just how it is so if you're not making a conscious effort and i talk about that in my programs in the master program effort from conscious effort including my money program to do things you default on doing things which you are programmed which you are programmed of a negative so basically people are just doing whatever's you know that classic saying of it is what it is i'm just doing this doing that so nothing's happening really the advice once again is to follow your bliss this is why you are here and we are here to teach others how to do it i apologize you know i, I might have to find somewhere else or get you know i don't see when it goes dark or not because i'm channeling so I'm connecting with source, so I'm not looking at the camera or what I'm doing. I'm just getting the messages and spitting them out. So I'm not looking at the camera. So I apologize if it, like now, it's just gone dark again. So um, anyway, so let's jump in. Better leave it like that, because then, yeah. So let's see what the cards say after how you feel or what's going on. So... <clears throat> You feel changed, but I feel like I said there, the, put, the, the, the takeaway of the push and pull is it, it will feel like a numbing of you how to feel with your person, but there will be a sadness of you're not with your person. Look, eight, eight of cups. In all my videos, I, I would have loved to say in the videos I've released, the three videos I've released was is about okay. Shall I take? Mm. I would love to say congratulations, twin flames. We've done it. We all together. We're all united. You know, and all this is so many communities of us all united and blah. All working on ourselves, showing others to follow their passion. Well done. Or. Or, or well done now twin flames you watch now your person's showing up they're now going to be committed because i didn't really talk too much about that because i know there's uh, that's not who i'm targeting unfortunately that is not who i'm targeting and you will know because your person will be showing up with more of a commitment way but i just wanted to say that you will know like i said in my video ones who are fully with twin flames that's if you choose to be because most are still asleep and just fall for oh i'm a twin flame even soulmates just put the title oh this is a twin flame reading and twin flames read it and they have no connection with twin flame that's why they're trying to end but anyway let's see what's happening with the cards eight of cups the knight of swords the lovers my gosh, I feel that's the energy of what's going on. So the Eight of Cups is 
this is both of you walking away from things trying to and i say things in case you say that's a bit broad well come on this is de depending on your situation you're walking away towards but it's also coming away from your masculine eight of cups this emotional and today i woke up and i had two things there was like one was the quantum field and this card how shows kind of a quantum field to me in the what well, i know um and the other was about ignorance why is that connected to the eight of cups because um cups are emotions so eight of cups and the two of eight to the two isn't it it's walking away from your you and your higher self you wasn't really there anyway because your higher self tells you you're supposed to be changing planet earth so that's why the eight of cups and that means because you didn't choose to do that which you all choose not to do that that's why you, your person is in this picture walking away also other things in your life as well is what i'm getting now that uh, there's uh, the quantum field is here as well i might have to do another talk video i don't know because my person's coming so i don't know if i'm gonna have time so um quantum i'll see if i need to mention it so the eight of cups is like like i said it's that energy of what i've been saying in the video uh, the energetic frequency from the divine is changing the contract to make the twin flame split that energetic um push and pull because the energy of the push and pull is like a battery with the plus and the minus, which represents the pillars on the tree of life, which the pillar of mercy and severity, plus and minus, which is the negative and the positive, which is the yin and yang. So anyway, the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> yes, they're having an upgrade as well. And their upgrade, I didn't talk about their upgrade, is to recognize, to go towards their passion. They don't wake up and think, yep, I'm a twin flame. But that's kind of like their contract is, yep, I'm a twin flame. But they, it's not necessarily like this. It's kind of like your person's contract is, yep, I'm, I, I'm, I'm now going to go towards what I want. That's what happens with them. And you are part of that. So they're waking up to go towards their passion. But if you are not aligned with that of going towards your passion, which your passion is mission, then they just follow what they want to do that's divinely contracted so that you made a choice not to do mission we are awoken straight as way as we meet our person mission comes second so that's what we know what we have to do if you choose not to do that then why do you, your person won't come towards you it is factual and you you know that i've been saying that from that you know that there's why aren't twin flames together right so they're waking up their person your person to what they want to do and if you're aligned with your person your emission then that will be you that's these two cards and that is what we're here from the divine to teach the hands of god to teach about cupid arrows and i just said about the positive the negative the the masculine the feminine severity and, and mercy right this is what we are here to teach right about you feel you follow what you want so I said to her to put the hands of God, because it's the feeling, frequency, energetic frequency, cups, emotions, emotions, energy in motion. That's what we're here to teach. You follow your bliss. Like I said, your person here is, um, and I like how this fog round his head, can you see that, is this quantum field I'm feeling. See, feeling. And it's round his head because they're very logical. So the quantum film is changing their mindset. And you hear how it's called? It's a set. Because it's a zero point of setting yourself, which we are here to reprogram. Which didn't work. But oh, didn't work for many. This is about resetting their mind to now think about clearly right can you, can you see he's going toward the clearer vision not the 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 dark and clouded mindset the clearer vision of going for what he wants 
coming away because this sword is down when swords are down to me in tarot that means they're not in your you're not in your truth he's not in his truth the sword is, is he's not in his truth but it's not on him so he's coming away from deception of oneself to go towards his bliss and he's looking into a brighter future and normally that is connected with the lovers of well, with my person, I feel hands, right? I feel connected. I feel like I can achieve so much more. I feel like oneness. I feel like myself. Because this one, head in the clouds, divine. That's why it's a divine connection. Feels divine with you. So that's what they're doing, right? This energy, this quantum field I'm feeling, right? Which is what is going on at the moment. This, oh, where was this one? Yep, I told you, walking away or walking, Eight of Cups is walking away or walking towards. And walking away is, see, Eight of Cups is a deep card because when people walk away from something, the Eight of Cups is walking away from something that is really hard. But you walk towards the Nine of Cups, which Nine of Cups represents being selfish. And that is meaning like most people... To go with your twin flame, you eventually come away from friends and family. It's just an energetic frequency because you're rising in energetic levels of consciousness you can't resonate with, which is an Einstein theory of relativity, which is you can't resonate with highlight higher people when you're from a lower energetic vibration. Hence, I used to say on my channel, come away from negative people. But when you do the work and you rise in energetic frequency because you're surrounded by people who are like that and you're removing that negativity by the law of transmutation of energy and working on yourself through my programs, you rise. And when you rise, you rise in consciousness like your person is doing because the contract is ending of the twin flame, which I knew was happening this year up to November because they want us ready for when the shit hits the fan in November. So this is about walking away from something, which Eight of Cups is walking away from something, which is hard to do because Nine of Cups is selfish. So if you walk away from friends and family, they will say you're being selfish. You're just go going over there. What about coming out with me on Friday night? What about this job that you used to do? They see you as selfish, Nine of Cups, because it's hard to walk away from the Eight of Cups to be the Nine of Cups. But then you get your One Cup, which is your person right you're walking towards two more cups loving yourself which is yourself as your person that's eight of cups towards the two cups but like i said it's hard to do that which hence why mission failed with many but underneath that if you master that you get this one 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 you're on the right path right you get on your path and your person because all you had to do it was simple all you had to do is trust someone who made it easy for you to trust because I have money back guarantee everything I do, which no one does on the platform of YouTube. I money back guarantee that is enough for you to trust me, right? Those that left had issues with themselves because I gave them money back. I didn't say it was going to be easy. I never said it was easy, right? I never said it was easy. And I know it's a free will experience. That's why I don't do any legal contract, right? But if you're not doing the work, I'm not going to handheld you. If you're not doing the work, I will ask you to leave. It's simple, right? If you're doing the work, I'll give you a contract to what to do to get to this. It's your choice to walk away, right, or walk towards it, right? Most, that you would know if you're doing this. Why? Because I told you, it's pretty easy. Has this failed? This is failure. Has your person, is it failing? Is he thinking about going towards something else? It's not another person. And I always said this, the three of cups is not another person. All other tower readers, all oh, these third party, there's a third party. It used to trigger the fuck out of me. I used to think, every time they said it, I thought Davis was someone else, initially. Then, like I said, if I'm going to court, I'll have to go and get a solicitor. That's simply a third party, right? That's all it is. It's something external that is stopping the connection. 
If you believe your person should text you every day, that's a third party. That's a belief system. That's simply what third party is. Your person is then going to that third party of, I want to go and do be a mechanic. And there's a job halfway around the world, right, away from you, which I'm going. This is this energy. It's like, like I said, you will know if this is you. Because first of all, did, was it hard for you to walk away from your friends and family and walk towards mission? I guarantee most of you that are listening to this have not done that. And then, secondly, so do you feel that your connection is failing? This is twin flame failure, right? And your person is thinking about going elsewhere. You don't have to actually hear these words. You have a fucking inner knowing. Because the sort of troop is here, right? You have an inner knowing that something's changing, right? Because you didn't invest. Seven of Pentacles. So your person isn't investing in you. Because the two of cups is here. The lo Well, lovers is here. Because you didn't balance out, like I said, the masculine and the feminine. This is all connected with the tree of life. Because the first card is the tree. Like I said, I feel this quantum field. This quantum field is connected with the tree of life. The tree of life has the three pillars. One pillar is invisible. That There's a pillar of mercy, pillar of severity. I think I've got it wrong way, but it doesn't matter. I don't know how the camera's showing it. Right? One is masculine, one is feminine, one is plus, one is minus. Hence the push and pull of the connection. The invisible pillar in the middle is Dar. Dar is connected with the fool's journey card. Jumping into the unknown. What happened Why this is failed failing right but after the seven comes eight of pentacles which is hard work so you could have made this work like i said it's fucking hard but that middle pillar pillar is the unknown this failed because you didn't want to jump into the unknown because there was not evidence of me up here with a bling on my finger saying david and i am getting married living together and come live with me uh, uh he's going to come live with me and um, there you go. That's one reason why it failed. Another reason why it failed is because you didn't know what you wanted to do, what you knew, right, to do. The unknown. Well, I don't know about mission. I don't know how I'm going to sell tarot. I don't know how I'm going to get into this, um, uh, go out there and come away from my family. That middle in is that quantum field I'm feeling, that energy. I know you, I don't know, it depends how, you know, enlightened you are, right? You're feeling that. That's that quantum field of the unknown, which is trust. It's connected to the tree of life. But you are here to teach people how to manifest, which that element, which most miss, is that trust element. That's why they don't manifest their reality, because they want to see it. They want to see it. Most fell because they want to see it. And I'm like, fucking hell, you're, um, you're listening to me through the internet and explain the fucking internet. You can't see it. So to say you need to see things before you believe it is stupid because you're hearing me through the internet, which you can't see. So this is what you was here to tell people. You don't need to see it, my friend. Feel it. Am I telling you truths or not? Right? I promise you when you listen to other tower readers and they say an extended reading, they don't say to you, I guarantee I can get you with your person, right? They don't say to you, I money back guarantee, right? They don't. It's not even about, this is what they're saying to you, feel your way through this planet. This is the feeling frequency with the cups, right? They don't say it because they're lying, it's not in truth, so they're, they're angelic. That's why I said they keep saying to me, say, go about the divine. Say you're the divine. So they don't lie to you necessarily, do they? They just say, get an extended reading and I will tell you how your person feels. I will tell you what he's up to. What about the third party? They're not lying, but they're not telling you how to get in union, are they? This is for you to feel. Is this truth? Is this going to help me? Is it going to move forward? This failed, the lovers failed, seven of pentacles, because you made another choice. Seven of cups on top of the lovers card. And now they are making lovers your choice. And I already said that in my talk video. 
It's a zero contract means casual. And he's got the hoodie on. And he put the deep inner healing work, isolation hermit with the hermit here on his back behind you and went into this choice of lovers casually. That was that zero contract which you chose. This is why the wheel of fortune, karma, there's no justice, right? This is just. And I said to you about two things I woke up with today on my mind. <clears throat> One was this quantum field, and I thought, how can I tell them about the quantum film? Do you see how the divine work? I do a reading and it comes out. The second was about um, karma and ignorance. For example, I said to them, listen, it's, to me... It may not feel fair because loads of people didn't know, right? You didn't know what to do. And they said, you do know. And I'm going to give an example. I was married to 10 years. Oh, I think it was nine, whatever, right? To my, uh, to, my, um, to my ex-husband, right? And I wanted a child. I only had one and I wanted two. I had, when I was younger, I wanted loads of children. And I married him and I told him I wanted about six kids. And I knew over the years... He just wanted me. He didn't want the kids. He just because he had he had a, a daughter. So he, and I so I when after nine years I said I'm leaving you because you just wanted me. There was a manipulation, all that kind of thing, right? Here's is here's the long story short. So I but I knew that I knew that underneath there was a very extreme narcissistic controlling guy. I knew that. So does that make it right? So this karma, this justice is about, so when I separated and he took my business, he stole my money and he took my daughter, that is, that, does that mean he's nasty in that? Yes, but that was just because I knew he was like that. So I take responsibility for it. Most people don't on this planet. This is what you're here to understand. So does it make it fair? Does it make it okay? No. Because my daughter's not seeing me and I'm not seeing her. So how do I balance that out with the scales? How I look at it is, yes, I'm taking responsibility, which is one thing that moves the wheels, the zero point forward, wheel of fortune, karma, right? Justice. How do I make this just? Because I ignored the red flags that I was married to someone who wasn't going to do anything that I wanted, who totally just wanted to control me when I took back the reins he stole from me including my daughter so I took the responsibility of owning that shit of yes I knew right and secondly then I've put into what did I do to try to fix that so I done everything possible if I ain't got my daughter I'm going to make sure I have fucking as much money as possible so that when I do find her and I get the best solicitor when she's like old enough so that the courts can't say that he is the main guardian so I can have enough money to afford the best solicitor and that I could um, influence her more with money which is you know is manipulation but it's true. You know, you want to come live there in a, in a nice house with a swimming pool with, with your brother and, and, and other high enlightened people or stay there, right? I know she wants to travel as well and give her money and um, tell her the truths of how things went. Here's my point. I knew that that's what I wanted to do after she was taken from me. So I balanced out the scales by putting something else in place to make it right. That's what this is about knowing shit ignorantly just saying i didn't know is not enough the thing what fucks people over and why it continually fails is because you keep on the choice of not choosing love once i took accountability well responsibility right it's accountable because others were involved it affected my son it affected my daughter and it affected me plus my other family ain't seen my daughter so that's taking accountability and a responsibility for my actions of not wanting to be awoken to say look here's a narcissist there's someone who's controlling me and knowing he would rip me off hoping and praying he wouldn't wasn't enough hands of god it's not enough then what do i do now this reading is what are you going to do now about it Hence, I said about the pillars of black and white, hot and cold, balancing out this. 
So I've transmuted that negative energy of what happened and made it into, and since then I've been successful. But I have a knowing now still not to take my ex-husband to court for my daughter because I know that she's still but with her friends. She's at the age with her friends. And, you know, and to leave that to come with me will ruin her life. I got to what? Hopefully, you know, 90 years old later, she'll pass away. I've got years to do that. So there's no point me doing that now. That's selfish fucking up her life when I can just simply do it when she's 18, 19 or whatever. That's what this is. Taking responsibility and accountability for your fuck up. And you knew to be in mission. And those that are listening, because I know that those are listening who, who fucked off from mission as well, right? You lot need to take accountability for your actions as well. You chose the easier option, such as I did with my daughter. I chose for to blame him. He took her. He lied at court. I didn't lie at court. He lied at court. So I was smoking drugs, all this stupidness. To, to keep her, because he had insecurities, right, I've got all the evidence, and I will show her, so I'm pretty fine, thank you very much, but I could have prevented it sooner, could have done something about it sooner, and I know, so this is about changing that, because your person is woken up, the twin frame contract has changed, your person is woken up to who you are, but not in the sense as you know it, not like, oh, they know I'm a twin flame now, no, not in that element, they know, right? But you have to change how you make your casual choices and fucking be accountable for your actions and what you love. And what you love. For me saying to my daughter, well, here's all the proof. And look, he lied. He said this, this, this in the court evidence, which I've all got to show her. It's not enough. It's not enough, right? I have to then say, yeah, but the truth is I knew he was like that. And apologize for allowing it to go on. But here we are now. Here's what I've done to change it. What are you doing to change it so you can get onto your right path? That's what you have to do. And it's a hard pill to swallow. And that's why I'm up here as the example. Because there's no other fucking example. Except for someone stealing your fucking kid, is there? Why do you think they chose me? Because there is no other example. So that's what you have to do, right? And then when I met David, I had that deep feeling as well. I was like, there's no fucking way I'm losing this one either. It's no fucking way, right? Because I was woken up to I let something else go, but it was divinely time because they tell me she's going to be fine. I know it's all fine with her, but this is it's my ego, such as you as a parent. Oh, I've got to see my kid. I've got to see my kid. You want to see your kid. If you're in a situation with me, which most of you ain't, unless you're a dad, when you want your kid at the weekend and they want to go to their friend's house, well, no, it's my weekend to see the kid. That's you being selfish. You see? That's why I'm not going for my daughter yet. Because I know she's at that age where she wants to be with her friends. Do you see? This is about a bigger picture. Of how people live on this planet. People might say, oh, I'm fucking rude and fresh. I'm like, I fucking know this planet hardcore than any most on this planet. Most people on this planet. I know. I not only know the tree of life. I know how fucking energy works. I can fucking see energy. They give me the gift to read your subconscious. That's how gangster I get. Because I learn my shit. And this is what this contract is. It's changing because you was too casual about what you love. And you love your person, but you casually went towards it. Same as my example with my child, which I've met, uh, I've amended. So when it divinely comes, when she shows up, it will be fine and be balanced and just. There is always a way to make something right. There is always a way to make something right. My brother Henry passed away when he was 50, right? And most would say we died too young, right? Way too young, of course. But would I prefer him in pain, dying at 70, 80 years old, or, you know, dying where he, and he didn't want to die? I will never forget the hardest things you can hear a loved one saying, I don't want to die, when you know you've had the doctor saying you're going to die in six months, right? But how did I transmute that? Because I know upstairs is 
fucking amazing, mate. I'm like, I didn't say that to him, but I knew he was going to somewhere which is fucking wicked. Plus, <laughs> my mum was up there, my dad was up there, my uncles were up there, my aunties is up there. I knew we weren't alone. People say, well, I don't want to die and be alone. I knew they had all, all my families upstairs, really, majority of my, my family. But it, anything you can change, right? This is what this is. It's not too late to change the situation if you find someone and make the fucking right choice. Stop going to those people who are saying, oh, well, Sophia is a fucking idiot and uh, her mission program so hard. All you have to do is this. If they are showing up with their twin flame, I tell you what, I'll give them all my programs for sale for free. And so you take it all. You can take over mission. I'm not in my fucking ego here. But I know, I goddamn know that they're just manipulating you to go on to an easier option, which is making everybody fail. They have to be accountable for what they're doing because it's unjust with the Libra here. This card is on top of the Tree of Life next to the Magician card. You won't manifest your reality until you understand about balance and the balance of the two cups in life. It's about the two cups, which is you and your higher self. You know, stop fucking choosing the easier option. The illusions, right, of your love. You know. And I know, as I know, that most that left, not most, every single person that's left my mission group is not with their person, as of if you lot are knowing, because some of you still go and watch them. And you are welcome to email me and say, no, Sophia, Listen, this person who left or you left or they, you made them leave or whatever is now happily together with their person and they should show up in their channel, regardless if they're working together or not. My person is in my channel. You go to the playlist. The universe will provide so you can show proof to others, right? Because they're not stupid. They know that people don't trust of the invisible. It's in, it would have been impossible for me to convince you that I'm a twin. Well, it should have been, actually. I correct myself. They corrected me. Thanks. Should have been impossible for you to I me mean, convince you that I'm a twin flame without you seeing David. But still, you book readings from people who have no evidence that they're a twin flame. They just simply say it. But that's easy, isn't it? Because most people feel they're with twin flames. doesn't mean they're with them. So why are you booking from them? So now they are, that's why now you will see only people together with twin flames, which you will see it's hard, eight of pentacles. You either casually do it or you go to the next step to the eight of pentacles and work fucking hard at what you need to do. That's what this reading is about. I tried to do this yesterday. It was kind of the same energy. I'm going to try to do individual signs, but if it's all the same energy, then I won't put them up. I'll try to do them over the weekend. Let's get and see how your person is thinking or feeling. And end it with that. I'm going to work on this access to mission. Like I said, I am here to give you the option to do what you're supposed to do. Wake up and you will know that a tower reading, an extended reading, does not do anything. Wake up and know that those stones literally oh my gosh i'm going off track but i remember once um my sister said to me get us uh, this crystal amethyst because i was dating someone who had addictions and she said give it to this person and it will help his addictions i was asleep then i was like wow this is amazing right and she said oh it will help with your sinuses as well so because i suffer from that but anyway so i get uh, uh no i didn't give it to him so i thought i'll keep it for myself then for my sinuses he didn't do shit it didn't do shit. As you know, crystals don't do shit. It's all psychological. You know what it is? It's a placebo fucking effect. That's what happens. You put so much intention onto something that, oh my gosh, it, it, it glowed and it made me feel, well, how long did it last? Did it last longer than the, the actuality of the time when you pick up the sign? And when you put it aside, is it still feeling vibrant? It's a placebo fucking effect is what I'm trying to say. My work works because it's a continuation of hard work for you to do to change it because it's a habit, right? If it was that easy, 
all twin flames will all divine people will be together this this virus would not be so right this would not be so how it is now this is what i was talking about i'll take another one because it's not really lovey-dovey i know you lot like your lovey-dovey stuff it's all my fault like i said taking accountability and responsibility is what the one percent do you don't you don't do you it doesn't make it feel good i don't feel good to say oh, it's my fault my daughter was taken away from me but when i look back i could have stopped it not the court thing when you get into court with them lot it's a fucking different kettle of fish could have stopped it way years earlier I shouldn't have married him. I knew on my wedding day I wanted to come home. I knew everything. You lot fucking know. If you're divine, you know. Do not say you do not know. I didn't know he was cheating. I didn't know he was this. I didn't know, but you know. You choose. This is about taking accountability for your actions and changing it if you so choose to be. Let's see what else and see if this is, like I said, taking responsibility of what you do. You do everything possible. That's what I thought. I'm going to do everything possible in my power to get my daughter back, A, until I felt like I was going to die. Then I stopped. And that was intentional. <clears throat> so I could actually release that. I've done everything to get her at court. Literally, right? And secondly, with my person. you got to go for really what you want. And then it gets to the point where, okay, I've got to release this. It's not working. When it fucks up your health, that's when you kind of stop. That's when you know. I thought I was going to die if I kept, because, you know, it's like a film. I was going so much to get my daughter. I wasn't eating. I was getting losing weight. I was depressed. It was like, I'm going to kill myself. I have to stop. What's the point of getting her? And I'm half dead. And then the same with David. I knew I had to get him. I knew I had to. I was creating programs and this and that. And he, as of you, he's just over there doing his own thing, right? Then he gets to a point, I'm just doing mission. All right, he's over there. I'm just doing mission. I didn't go find someone else. I didn't feel I fucking spy on him. I still don't have access to his Facebook. I still don't know what social media is on. I just done mission and just left it, right? That's it. This is about trust. Then those balance scales, which is connected with the magician card. Then it manifests into your reality. That's what we are here to teach. I have never felt this way before. I run as I don't know how to deal with it. And that's you about making your choices. I don't know how to deal with this twin flame connection. I don't know about mission. Uh, it's really hard. It's the same thing. What you're saying about getting in my mission programs here is exactly the same alignment, right? Zero point. And you hear that point. That zero point, the point is exactly the same point of why your person doesn't come to you. Because you make those excuses and same as what he does. When you fully invest eight of pentacles and work hard at it, so I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know about mission. I've never collaborated. I don't know whatever this kind of thing. Selling programs is out of my comfort zone, blah, 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 blah. But this is what I'm supposed to do. The lovers, right? It's my higher calling. Because this is the lovers, not two of cups, it's the lovers, right? Then your person would make the choice to come towards you. That's how it is. And the reason why it is like that is because we are teaching people, look, you want things in this world, you work hard at it, eight of pentacles, invest in it, and don't ha know how if it's going to work. As I compare to Hollywood movie stars, they go off to addition, 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 make their way up. And they don't know if they're going to be a fucking A-lister. But they have that inner calling. That is why your person is here. To have that inner calling of this is what I'm supposed to do. I have this pull which is different and unique for a reason. And you're supposed to have just done it. Change that. I'm going to be working on my new program. Oh, you can jump straight into the hardcore program. I have mission program. You, it depends how long you've been here, you see people come in and out. It's your choice to be casual, but you're delusional because this is a cloud, which is the cloud from upstairs. You can choose to be on this earthly plane. That's up to you. 
And that's why I don't have a contract. And many people have stabbed me in the back. Trust me with that fucking knife. Right? But still, you will see changes. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. You will see changes to prove what I always say. And what all I've always said has come out true. There's only one time I made a mistake. And I went outside when they said about the virus. And I said, oh, I feel something in the air. It might be a virus. Right? And then the next day I was like, no, it was fear I felt. Fear. I confused it with the feeling of the virus. It was fear. That's what's in the air at the moment. Well, it's not now because they're deluding people that it's gone. In some countries, because Dee said to me that you know, she's on lockdown again. So it depends. Anyway, so this is a choice. You can change that choice and jump in and do what you've got to do. But like I said, you will know because you'll feel that you're losing them. And it's pretty easy. You will know all these tower readers, you know, oh, I'm twin flamers. Where's your person? Ask them. Where's your person? Oh, I'm, I'm going to see them Saturday. Why doesn't he come up and do a channel? I trust me. My person, the, the possibility of him to be on this channel was zero. Hence, once again, the zero point. Zero. He's a raster, which is the opposite of showing off, right? The complete opposite. Dreadlocks and all that is uh, because non-vanity. That's what a raster is. They don't comb their hair. That's why they have dreadlocks. Because combing your hair is known as vanity. That is my person. Non-vain in the slightest. But if I can get him to do a couple of videos up in here, which the divine make that happen so you believe that I'm with my person. Others should be doing the same. If they're not, they're not with their person. They're simply just stating what they are. That's like going around saying, I'm a human, I'm a human, but I'm a human twin flame. I'm a human soulmate. Does that mean they can help you? No. It just means you're taking the easier fucking option. That's all. And then addicted to it. Because seven of cups is a habit, right? This is going back to your belief system. It's seven of cups. Do you see what comes next? Eight of cups. Your person leaving you, right? If you choose the delusion, the habit, because this is addictions, drugs, because your person's on addictions, your addiction is going back to your comfort zone. And I said that in my video. Next, your person leaves you. That's how it goes. But it's your choice to balance out those scales. Two of cups. Choose you and your higher self and get back on track. I'm out. Speak to you later.